everybody and welcome back. This is the third installment of the build-up of this Thor Designs 96th scale USS Seawolf class submarine. Uh, obviously a little bit of progress since the last time we saw you. I've got the, uh, the paint job uh, is all finished up. It's basically a, a zinc chromium primer color uh, on the bottom. Uh, flat black on the top, a weathered gray on the bow for the sonar dome. And then I did uh, some weathering. I've got um, grime that I sprayed around the waterline, and that was followed by uh, some green to mimic the algae growth that uh, appears at the waterline on all of these boats. Um, you can see some streaking that I've got on the uh, upper hull, and that was accomplished with uh, some pastels. And uh, basically, they were brushed on. Uh, and then streaked down with uh, paper towel, and I apologize, it's a little dirty because I've had it in the pool for trimming purposes, but uh, this is what the paint job looks like overall. Uh, the masts are in place and weathered. You can see I've got, I've got three of them that I've chosen to model. These two are, uh, are fixed. Uh, and this one actually, if you look, it's got a hole. And the reason for that is for the snort assembly for the watertight cylinder. And, uh, and basically the way that works is I've got a large brass tube that uh, you insert in the upper hull, pops out the top, but it is actually part uh, integrated as part of the watertight cylinder. So that's the, uh, the hull. Now, as I mentioned, I did get this in the water yesterday and actually things went um, far better than I could have hoped for. Um, upon the initial dunk it got to I'd say 90% of the way there and that was only with the addition of uh, some lead bar in the keel as you guys had seen earlier. So the cylinder basically provided all the buoyancy without the need for additional foam which is always a plus. Um, I tweaked it around a little bit, but actually what ended up happening is I uh, discovered that the uh, ballast tank was allowing a lot of sloshing, so it was very, very difficult to get trimmed in uh, submerged trim because the water kept sloshing from one end of the ballast tank to the other. So I came up with a solution, and this is possible because the ballast tank in this particular model is so large. <clears throat> Um, if I were to custom design a cylinder for this unit, it would have been about half the size. Uh, but this is what we have to work with. It's still an, uh, an extremely good cylinder, but ballast tank is, is very oversized. So what we need to do is um, make it about half the size as it was. And the way that I accomplished that is I inserted a, uh, a rubber bladder, uh, same ones that they use in a blood pressure cuff. This is the hose that comes out the bottom. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop this back into the water, get it in completely submerged trim, and I'm going to blow in the end of this tube and the bladder will inflate until it gets to the point that it is at the perfect buoyancy that I'm trying to achieve. And for this particular model, and as the, uh, the new owner is, is just getting started with this, that is going to be at just slightly positively buoyant so that when the ballast tank is completely full, uh, basically the sail will still be sticking out. So if there are any problems uh, underneath the water that he runs into, he can just simply take his hands off the control, put everything to zero, and theoretically the model should surface by itself. Um, this is the snort um, uh, tube that I was uh, mentioning to you earlier, and again this just gets inserted into the sail, pops out the uh, top, It'll look something like that once uh, it's in place. So things are coming along uh, really, really well. I um, was hoping to have had it all trimmed out yesterday so that I could move on to the fun part, which is the uh, torpedo testing. However, that's all part and parcel of the business. If it was easy, everybody would be doing it. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully the next update will show a nicely trimmed model with uh, some working torpedoes. Talk to you later.